Alright guys, welcome to an my another let's play of... Well, this is the first one of this, James. Alright, One Piece, Round the Land. Okay, you guys actually might be surprised because this game is really unpopular. Yes, it's pretty, it's pretty unknown because it's only it's probably a very first game, one very first anime game that came out and came out with very early PS2 era. And well, I accidentally, accidentally I used to play this game a lot when I was a kid, and well, alongside a lot of One Piece fighting game, well. The one thing is, sadly, I when I was a kid, I played the Japanese version, but my disc is I lost my disc for some reason, and I had to find my the ROM from the online to play on the emulator. And well, I thought it, so I downloaded the U Europe version, and it doesn't have the English language. Is it that you choose about three languages in this? So, I don't know, maybe, but I have played this game before, so I try to explain everything that, <laughs> or, well, maybe I do the best that I could. Alright, let's begin. So yeah, the plot of this game is not really thing that special, I mean, it's kind of like a throwback of the e-story arc. And okay, don't worry. There's not much of a cutscene in this game because, well, for 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 some reason in the Europe version there's no war goal alongside cutscene. Okay, in the Japanese version they you, it's supposed to have a dialogue here. In every so, in every single one of every single dialogue there's a voiceover, kind of like Persona. But for some reason this game doesn't when they transfer to. Europe version they don't have it, so well Yeah, I could I try to skip as much as possible. But I try to explain. So yeah, uh I guess after the Alabasta Ace As Alabasta Saga which well this game is not canon by the way. Um as Luffy crew has has found this island which well, I don't know the name, but by the way, <laughs> all right, I explain along alongside the cutscene. By the way, which you can probably see about seven main characters, which including Robin too. Yeah, it came out in two thousand four, which I guess in the America that that time was around the Skypiea's arc. Maybe so. All right. Man, it's really painful to see all this dialogue and doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Gosh, in Japanese version, there's so <laughs> it's much louder. In this version, it makes so by removing this vocal, it makes this game so quiet. Alright, so they land on this island. This by the way we get all excited or something. And obviously he, he gets lost. Oh, of course he's going to eat some <laughs> eat something. Alright, I don't know why, but I really want to skip all this. Alright, here's a character. Okay, maybe the only one only one fellow character in this entire story because the other character is uh, have, have already appeared in the show. Okay, so this is a fellow character. His name is Klein Klein oh uh, Yeah, like about that. So he's Okay, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but he he actually the owner of this hotel in this island, which haven't been, haven't been any visitors about 100 years. And there's a secret desk, and okay, there's something that I need to explain. In this game, <laughs> Ace and Vivi actually actually on this island too. 
I don't know the reason, but... Well, it's kind of kind of have to fill the plot or something. And yeah, he might not be the playable character or not even a boss, but he will support. He will kind of su support character alongside your campaign. Okay, so he he trying to explain that there's a in this island there's a treasure, a a really secret treasure which there's a there's a key to open that treasure areas that scatter around this island and yep well it's kind of like a kind of like a more traditional adventure game that's stage to the stage so yeah after we finish the one stage we got a key and you move on to collect another one kind of like that all right gonna mash the button real fast and looks like each of them decide to split up and fight us. God damn it, I really want to know what they're talking about. Gosh. Ah. Uh, come on. Come on, at least put some dialogue in there. Ah, I miss Japanese version. Alright, so you go away. Alright, so we're gonna follow Luffy in a solo campaign. So apparently there's a party here and everyone's split up. Okay, as you can see there's about maybe a 7 area 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, 7 Alright, yeah, 7 area So you must find all those 7 Kinda like Dragon Ball To to open the gate to the treasure It's why the, I don't know why the, Every game has have the obsession over the number 7 Alright, so so yeah, you probably know, you probably know that each character is going to split up and find those pieces. All right, quickly, quick, and we're gonna follow Luffy and Solo in this adventure. Because apparently Solo getting lost and Luffy is getting lost too because the two are idiots. Man, I man, I remember there's a time that Solo is not an idiot when he first. All right, finally some some legitimate gameplay here. All right, so. First, I have to say about this thing. Okay, so this is a whole island and as you can see basically what it actually what it is is a kinda like the old story kinda like the old story island slapped into each other. So you can see there in the south in the west is a bar. Uh, what's it called in the Alabaster City? Um Gosh I can't remember. Ah uh, and you can see in the south, in the east, the Baratier, and Arlong Park also in the east. The Dumb Kingdom is also in the north. The Skybear is on the northwest, and well, you probably, you probably all know the rest. And this one is the Park Baki Carnivals. All right, so let's go to the first set in this game. Oh, I'm really sorry about it. <laughs> I'm sorry you, if that audio gets. I think really sometime. Uh, yeah, it's something I have to deal with because I play on Emulator. Okay, so in this in this stage, you have to pick two, three character, but I already have two, so I'm gonna choose. What well, I'm gonna choose these two because I, there's only two character they have. Okay, so this game is actually the like. 
kind of like a platforming slash beat em up adventure. And in my opinion, they handle pretty well actually. Um, not not my favorite One Piece game, but well, pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna teach. So I'm gonna talk about some basic here because all this tutorial was useless because it's not it's not in English. All right, so press the circle button to attack, and if you press it rapidly to do a combo. Press triangle button to jump. Press square button and holding analog stick to dash. And press the X button to use a shot attack. Alright, so that's all the basic. And you can also attack on mid-air in different in many directions. Alright, so here we go. Uh, and the first thing we got here is a buggy, of course. Man as funny as ever. And <laughs> I, I don't I don't know why, but those those balloon thingies always crack me up. I mean, just just look at the buggy face. And just look at the buggy facial expression there. It's like he took it, taking a selfie or something. <laughs> oh my god, never get so. Okay, there's also these balloon which has has some kind of money in it. And the money in this game, it act also acts kind of like um, not a currency, but act as an experience points. Yeah, kind of like a bounty in One Piece game. All right, so we kind of have to pop every balloon as possible, and we find some enemy here. It's pretty weak in the early on, so I'm gonna show some one some of the Luffy moves. So we got a pistol, bullet, and rifle. A pretty sad combo. Alright. Okay, so something really unique about this game is you can actually switch a character midway in you can you can find your cat your character team your teammate sitting around over the map. And you can switch it right there. But I'm not going to switch right now because well, I got I can explain what it is. I can explain about Luffy in this episode. And okay, so okay, can be this guy, be this guy for it. Gonna charge this bazooka, and there you go. All right, so as you can see here, this is kind of like a treasure chest thing. You can hold, you can pick it up by pressing the square button, and if you if you go talk to the party member like this, you can actually open it, and you got money. Inside of it, and add to your add to ev all the character you all the character you play as now. So you can see it's a way it's act like a act like a completion bonus and also leveling your character. All right, this all right, gonna be this guy up. Okay, there are so maybe some balloon there. There we go. Gonna de gonna destroy this enemy generator. Oh, there's also a fake balloon with called the explosion. And okay, there's supposed to be a support character coming out of here and help and give us something, but no, this time. Okay, I also t have to explain the rage gate, and you can see that. Uh, white orb over there. You can also use it to activate the rage gate like this. It's increase your cat power character power immensely, and is and sometimes it gives you some of special move. And okay, I ha <laughs> okay maybe some it's maybe sound a little bit crazy, but okay as you can see, I taking damage, but. Okay, just hit me with that. And you can see my health doesn't isn't go down. In race mode, you're literally invincible. Yeah, this the <laughs> is literally how broken this game is. I guess the only downside is that the the race the race mode changed your camera to a very close up perspective, which which made the game which made a platform free way a lot harder. So. 
Yeah, only use it when you fight or just in a boss fight. Ooh, there we go, treasure chest. Alright, gonna run away from this. Gonna grab this balloon. There we go. That thing, that ball almost hit me. Alright, pick them up and... Oh, you can actually throw this. And sometimes it's gonna... Sometimes it also drop a coin. Alright, gonna charge this thing up. Bazooka! No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Alright. Okay, not, not only you can share your treasure chest up in the character, or the party member in the middle stage, you can also pick pick up this treasure chest and and bring it along to the end to the end of the stage, and you can also pick them up. So the amount of amount of money you got from this treasure chest depend on the what kind of what kind of treasure you. What kind of treasure you found? I mean, it's like a crappy wooden one will give you a very, very small amount, and a very shiny one will give you a large amount. And there we go, we got a straight recap, and... I got a special move! I'll explain this later in, in the next episode. Alright, so yeah, there we go. And this is okay, this is the first stage of the first stage of or may, maybe a one stage one one of this game. And thank you you guys for watching this first part of this play. Hope you guys like it and I would I will upload the next part in later, about a week. So thank you you guys for watching. It ends here. <laughs> this is it. <laughs>